Am I surprised to see these shoes sitting everywhere? Of course not. I was expecting that to happen. Actually, I was kind of happy to see these shoes sitting because this is a pair of shoes that I really, really wanted to have. And yeah, just make it easy for me to get it. That's awesome if you ask me. This is a good time to be a sneakerhead because you don't know, for real, you don't know how easy it is to get shoes now. If you're new to the sneaker game, you were not around a couple of years ago. Man, 2020 was a crazy year for sneakerhead. I thought it was gonna be easier to get shoes because we were in the pandemic, you know? Everyone was home, no one could go out to do anything. All we were doing was home watching Netflix and YouTube, but some way, somehow, the sneaker game got even crazier. People were buying shoes like, man, like you have no idea. If you were not there, if you were not in the sneaker game during that time, you have no idea how crazy it was to get one single pair of shoes because everything was selling out. And when I say everything, I'm literally saying everything, even these, these you don't want to sell out immediately. Crazy. But now we are in a new era where these shoes like this are sitting in stores everywhere. Shoes like the UNC Jordan 1s were super easy to get. It's amazing if you ask me. That's not something to complain about. If you're complaining about shoes sitting, you're probably a reseller or a high beast because no way you can't complain about shoes sitting. That's amazing for real. Having the opportunity to get shoes like this in stores for retail or under retail, what's better than that? What's better than that? You think the fact that these shoes is going for retail or under retail on the retail market is a bad thing? For real? Do you think that? Because to me, nah, man, that's amazing. I have the issue. And trust me, trust me, if the issue released two years ago, this will be an immediately sold out. When the Travis Scott hype was at its peak right here, that everyone was trying to get a pair of Travis Scott shoe, this was gonna be an immediately sold out a couple of years ago. You know how I know this? Because there was a similar shoe to this one that released, I think, one year or two years ago. It was a pair of Jordan 4, it was not a pair of Jordan 3, but it has a similar um, colorway to this one. And it was, I don't remember the name, I have the shoe, but I don't remember the name, as this pair of Jordan 4s right here. This one sell out immediately. Everyone was hype about this shoe just because this one looked like a pair of Travis Scott. Every time they see the mocha tones on a pair of shoes, they were like, Travis Scott, Travis Scott, Travis Scott. And these shoes sell out immediately. Nearly impossible to get these shoes. I was lucky to get it because I like the shoe, but I didn't get it because of Travis Scott. I get it because I like the colorway on this one. Material really similar to this one. It's some type of a crack leather on the shoe with earth tone colors. And this one sell out, this one is sitting just because we are in 2023. That's it. That's the only reason these shoes sitting and this one sell out. Probably you like Jordan 4s better than 3s. I like Jordan 3s better than Jordan 4s, but that's me. Everyone has their own opinion and in my opinion, this is a really, really dope shoe. But like I said, I'm not surprised to see these shoes sitting. I mean, you had the Fire Red 3 sitting. Fire Red 3 sitting and going for almost retail on the resale market, this one right here. And you think I'm gonna be surprised to see this one sitting? Of course not. Does that make this shoe a bad shoe? Of course not, oh, hell no. This is an amazing one, a classic shoe. Material wise, really good. This is a classic Fire Red 3s and these shoes are going for retail right now. Almost a year since these shoe released. So you think I'm gonna be surprised to see this one sitting? Of course not. This shoe is not what a high beast one. Of course this shoe is going to sit. Now, I made a picture for my Instagram. It's Jason J. Kicks, by the way. You can go and take a look at it. But it's this picture right here. When I put a um, reverse Nike swoosh on this shoe to show how the high beast works. And it's for real. For real. Just put a reverse swoosh on this one and you're going to see people going crazy for the issue because high beats works like that. They just want something attached to a big name or something like that in order for them to really like a pair of shoes because their brain, the brain don't work correctly. 
They got watch rain for these big hype YouTubers. That's it. They don't recognize a good pair of shoes right in front of them. They can't because they have been watch brain by these big YouTubers that only talk about resale, um, hype shoes, and blah, 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 yada, yada. They, they just don't know what a good shoe really is. This is a dope one. I'm not mad about it. I'm not mad about you sleeping on these. I'm actually happy to have these and I'm gonna double up on these. This shoe is just really easy to get. This shoe is sitting in everywhere for retail and I'm pretty sure I can get this shoe on the retail. So that's amazing. You just make my life easier and I just want to thank you for keep sleeping in dope shoes like this. Please keep doing it. Those Palomino ones that are about to drop, please sleep on those as well. Cause I really want like two or three pairs of those. So keep making my life easier. And for those of you who've been watching my videos, thank you a lot. I really appreciate you for being here and supporting the content. Thank you a lot. When we hit 20K subscribers, I'm gonna do a big giveaway for you. So thank you for all the support that you've been showing to me and to the channel, the project, all the videos. I really appreciate you. And when we get 20,000 subscribers, that giveaway is coming on a dope pair of shoes. I'm gonna let you know which shoe am I gonna give away, but I'm gonna do a specific video talking about that when we are about to hit that 20K mark. Thank you guys again a lot for watching the video. Subscribe if you haven't already, activate the notification and everything. Leave a like, leave a like, because that's totally free and it's only gonna take one second of your time to leave a like, so do that for your boy. You're gonna help me a lot with the YouTube algorithm just by leaving a like. Also go follow me there on my Instagram, it's Jason J. Kex. If you enjoy sneaker pictures, sneaker news, or all kind of sneaker content, Go follow me on my Instagram, Jason J. Kicks. Thank you guys a lot for watching. Let me know if you got these, if you passed, whatever. Just let me know in the comment section. Thank you again a lot for watching. Until the next one, it's a dope shoe for real. This is a dope shoe. Huh. <laughs> Goodbye.